another set of five new launches from Excellency Perfumery. If you get all the five, this is the kind of presentation that they send. Or if you do not want to blind buy these full 50 ml bottles, you can also try their discovery set of five, which you have three ml decans for each, which comes like this. But the most interesting part is this time they have done an inspired version of the most hyped Ahmad Al Maghribi March. Yes, guys, and it is very interesting clone. So stay tuned to watch in detail. What's up guys, this is Yasser. Welcome back to my channel, you're watching Yasser's Fit Frag. Today I'm gonna to talk about five different releases, new launches from Excellency Perfumery. And I will start with the most popular Ahmad Al Maghribi's March. Let's find out whether it is close, whether it performs the same, whether it is as appealing as the original, okay? So this is how their presentation bottle looks like. Very beautiful design. They make all their bottles in black color these days and you get the notes break down here as well it says merge this is actually the first clone that i've seen from anybody else so i will definitely give that credit to excellency because it is definitely good the first sniff that you do you will definitely relate this to ahmad al maghribi merge so let me tell you all the details how close it is the first sniff, I can relate this for about 85% similar, guys. Because the moment I smelt it, I was like, wow, these guys have nailed it. It's about 85% close in the first sniff, okay? I'm not concluding everything here. So watch every word that I say. Before that, let me quickly show you the presentation box. This is how it is as usual. But for those who are not aware, you, just, you can just have a quicker look at it. All these 50 ml are extra to perform. They cost around 900, 950, something like that. Now let's talk about the smell of Excellency March. Okay, you can see the notes break down here, but I will tell you what exactly it is. The first sniff definitely will remind you of Ahmad Al Maghribi March, and it is about 85% easily. Okay, now as and when you spray and the perfume develops, you will notice that within 15 to 20 minutes, it gets a little more floral and less woody than Ahmad Al Maghribi March, okay? More floral, less woody than the original. And I don't sense that oud quality that you get in the original. I don't sense that here. I don't sense that honey accord which I get here in this one. So I don't get some of the notes which I just mentioned. But that first sniff from the bottle will definitely remind you of March. Now, that doesn't mean that the overall formulation is not at all related to March. Now, in the first 15 minutes, it's about 85% close. Now, after that 15, 20 minutes mark, like I said, the floral notes get more dominant. The honey accord is missing. The quality of oud that you get in the original is obviously missing because this is just for 900, 950. 50 ml extra to perform that is 60 ml for three to three and a half thousand so you obviously cannot expect the same quality of oud in the inspired version okay you have to be very practical here guys but doesn't mean that the formulation is not good this is very appealing though the quality of oud is not the same here okay now for those who do not like oud because it's not animalic and skanky but for those who do not like oud at all I think this is a great choice guys absolutely great choice because this also has that great projection for three hours though that can project fifth hour as well this still has a good projection for about three hours and give me a great lasting of nine to ten hours okay but i allowed this to settle down for almost 10 days the first day when i tested it it gave me like six hours but after 10 days when i tested that means it macerated well to some extent in 10 days and it gave me 9 to 10 hours so great performance but like i said you cannot expect the quality of oud the honey accord those things are missing it's slightly more floral but when it is floral it doesn't go feminine okay it's a great blend a middle eastern style of floral without making it like a typical feminine fragrance 
Now, again, I will give you that caveat because Excellency is the first one to make the inspired version. I will still give that credit to them because this is still appealing, great performance. And for this price, this is a bang on, guys. I don't know what you want to tell about me. You might say I'm a paid reviewer, blah, blah, blee, blue, blue. I don't really care. I talk from my heart. Whatever I like, I will definitely say that I like because I always leverage that with the pricing of the perfume. Now you might say, no, I would rather save money and buy the original. Obviously, if you can save money, then please get the original. For this is for those who cannot spend 3000 you get this for 1000 under 1000 bucks, guys. So it's for those people and it is yet appealing. Okay, let's move to the second one, which is Givenchy Gentleman Society's Inspiration, which nobody else has done. At least I have not seen it. And I've not smelled the original to be honest, but you can relate it to some of the gentleman series like my favorite gentleman series, Eau de Parfum Boise. Okay, this is my favorite from the gentleman series. I kind of hate that reserve privé, which is like very hype these days because it's iris dominant and I don't like that. There is iris here as well, but it's not playing the front role. So any fragrance that is iris dominant, I generally don't prefer that. This has iris, but the cocoa note and other leather accords are actually covering that iris. And that iris is more smoother here. Then that's why this is my favorite. That is Gentleman Eau de Parfum Boise. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is you can relate society to this one. Okay. In case you like this kind of fragrance, you are definitely going to like this inspiration of Gentleman Society. Now talking about the notes here, I wouldn't say it's exactly like Eau de Parfum Boise from Gentleman, but it has a very nice classy cardamom sage. The cardamom is not dominant, but it does have that feel of cardamom along with sage. Then there is Magadaskar vanilla, sort of a vanilla which is not overly sweet. There is cedar wood and vetiver. Overall, this is a perfect masculine gentleman style fragrance. So if you like that kind of fragrance for office wear, for some official formal meetings, this is a great choice, guys. This also performs pretty decent, two hours of projection and seven hours of lasting. Coming to the third one, that is Le Beau Le Parfum from Jean-Paul Gaultier. Obviously, this is an inspired version of that. Now, I have Le Beau from Jean-Paul Gaultier. I have the official miniature, which I think is a 10 ml. You can relate this to some extent, but this is Le Beau Le Parfum which I think is a flanker of that with higher concentration. So I'll tell you how exactly this smells. If you have La Mal La Parfum, you can relate this. I do have La Mal La Parfum as well. So you can relate this to that in the opening for the first 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, if you love La Mal La Parfum, you will definitely like this one. And there is a bit of that Tonka sweetness after that. There is pineapple and ginger in the opening and in the base you get woody sandalwood along with that tonka which I mentioned. So overall this also is a great blend. Performance is definitely good here. 3 hours of projection and 8 hours of lasting is what I get. Now when I say 3 hours, all the 3 hours it doesn't project like 2 feet. It mellows down each hour. So these are the 3 that I would definitely recommend from the 5. The last 2 are not my favorite. So I'll be very honest again. I talk my heart out guys. People watch half my videos and they only concentrate on the ones that I praise and then say I'm a paid reviewer, blah, blah, blee, blue. I don't care. So the fourth one is Prada Luna Rosa Black. Now if you do not know how that is, I do not have the full bottle but I do have the official miniature. I'll be very honest here. If this was not named like Prada Luna Rosa Black, I wouldn't have relate this to Prada Luna Rosa Black which means it's not that close, okay? I sensed about maybe 60 to 65%, but it's not a straight through clone. There are some bits of Prada Luna Rosa black here and there. So you get that bergamot patchouli in the opening. There is a bit of musk and amber in the base, but I don't sense that iris and leather accords, which the original has, okay? This also has iris. Uh, that soapy sort of iris which you get in Prada Loam as well. I don't get that in this one. Nor I get that soft western style leather accord. It is a bit different. 
60 to 65 percent is still there but like i said if the name wasn't written like this i wouldn't have related this to prada luna rosa black okay so that's my review about this one performance is not bad two hours of projection seven hours of lasting is what i got let's move to the next one which is garlan lom ideal cologne i did have the original of this one so i know how the original smells this again doesn't smell like the original okay but it does give me some bit of that garlam vetiver sort of a vibe because it definitely has that raw vetiver feel which garlam vetiver has but it doesn't smell like ideal cologne from garlam because that one had that nice almond along with citrus i don't sense that quality of almond here it definitely has citrus and i can definitely feel that vetiver as well but that quality of almond is definitely missing here which does not make it closer to the original this also just because the name is mentioned i would say about 50 percent okay not beyond that so i think they need to work a little better here but if you like garlam vetiver with a twist okay this is still a good fragrance to have this has good performance for the summers it projects like two and a half to three hours and it lasted about eight to nine hours on my skin so that's a great performance for summers so the first three is what i would definitely recommend so that's about it i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in case you've tried any of these marges definitely that you have to try if you do not have the budget of three to three and a half definitely try this one this is absolutely great barring that quality of oud and honey accord the floral is beautifully done the projection is like three hours it is definitely appealing to the nose very appealing guys you definitely have to check that one out so that's about it see you next time soon keep sharing the videos cheers